I'm Shannon Ponton, your personal coach, here to give you the tips you'll need to enjoy your Tough Mudder experience. Put yourself at ease. Tough Mudder isn't about constant running. After the first wave, there really are no leaders nor stragglers. No one is ever left behind. The obstacles are spaced out at roughly one kilometer intervals. At most, there is a hive of movement and activity with mudders helping out their mates. Here you'll have time to catch your breath. Give yourself a metaphorical pat on the back, well done guys, <laughs> and steal your resolve. Then have a crack at the next obstacle. With your run training, don't let the start be the thing that stops you. I believe anybody can run, and the start of your running training begins with putting one foot in front of the other. It really is that simple. If you can walk, try and walk faster. If you can walk fast, jog. If you can jog, run. At all stages, your training should be challenging, but doable. Guys, bring it in. You can start with something as small as 100 metres at a time. And at the end, I want you to do five push-ups, five squats, five burpees. On Tough Mudder, it's not all about running distances for days. All we're going to do is break it up into small, manageable chunks with some strength exercises at the end. Here we've got all different fitness levels and abilities, and everybody's working together. Guys, run back 100 metres, five burpees, five push-ups, and five squats. You scale the distances as you need. Even for your experienced participants, I suggest not running much more than 1,200 metres at a time, but run it at pace. On event day, the obstacles are spaced out at about one kilometre intervals. That's what's going to give you what you need. If you want to get good at running one kilometre, run one kilometre fast and hard. These dynamics combined break the course into small, manageable chunks. So no matter what your perceived level of condition or fitness, you'll be able to get your head around the course and get into it, and obviously have plenty of fun. An amazing subculture of caring for fellow mudders has developed, where at the obstacles, most competitors are more focused on helping and improving other people's experience than they are on shaving two to three minutes off their own time. It's just not about that. This is a unique trait and something we're very proud of. On the trails, your mind will be active, navigating the course, plotting your foot placement and taking in the atmosphere. These heightened senses are a welcome distraction that will stop you getting bored and thinking about how tired or exhausted you thought you were. Because I'll guarantee you'll be able to find a little bit more on the day. And at the finish line, the most common sentiment is, I can't believe it's over already, sign me up next year. For more tips, go to toughmutter.com.au.